It's a stat worth repeating. Across the U.S., only 10 women chefs have been awarded a Michelin star, and Melissa Perello is one of them. Born in New Jersey and raised in Houston, she showed an early interest in the kitchen. At age 12, her mother came home to find her deboning a leg of lamb. <laughs> <laughs> she got her first kitchen job in high school, went on to the Culinary Institute of America, and then to San Francisco, where she opened Francis and later Octavia. Both earned prestigious Michelin stars, and honor Oct Octavia still holds. Now she's heading south to L.A. Her M. Georgina opens this summer at Row DTLA, the hot new retail and dining project in the city's downtown. Chef Marissa, Melissa Perello, welcome to The Dish. Thank you so much. Can we start with dessert? Absolutely. That's exactly <laughs> I what I had in mind. I can't take my eyes off this. <laughs> what is this? So this is uh, one of our signature dishes from our first restaurant, Francis. This is inspired by uh, a dessert that my grandmother used to make it's called a lumberjack cake and well so i'm a lumberjack and i'm okay dates uh <laughs> coconut and it's today it's with a little cream cheese wow. ice cream fantastic so what else yeah. Do we have? yeah we also have a little um paprodel pasta with bacon smoky bacon and uh, parmesan crema um a spinach and grilled asparagus salad with a lemony miso uh vinaigrette and toasted shallots um, as well as um, a grilled uh, skirt steak with charred tomatoes and eggplant. Um, it's finished with a little um, smoky urfa chili, which is a Turkish pepper. And this puppy? And this is, <laughs> we're calling this a smoky sipper. Um, it's a uh, like so sipper. It looks very innocent. Yeah, yes. mezcal rum and a little bit of bitters. Oh, I got to go back to the deboning a leg of lamb at age yes. 12. Are you serious? <laughs> I am, yeah. Um, I'm. I will say I was kind of strangely a very <laughs> focused kid. I always, always knew I wanted to go to culinary school before I even started high school. Right. And um, just got to got to start at an early age. Watching chefs on TV. I did. Or? Yeah. I, used, I grew up spending summers in um, northern Texas with my grandparents, mm. and there wasn't a lot to do. Uh, so I found myself watching a lot of cooking programs on PBS. This is Fran Francis was your grandmother, right? Exactly. You called Frankie. Yep, Grandma but Frankie. But you named the restaurant after your grandma. I did both of my restaurants. So my third restaurant is uh, named after my my father's mother, Aww. Mary Georgina. Yeah, that's great. So sweet. So yeah. you went to the CIA. You knew always, but I mean, you're this sort of East Coast girl. You how do you get to San Francisco? I understand it was based on a vacation. Oh yeah. Well, I found I. Um, Went out to San Francisco to check out the restaurant scene and fell in love with a restaurant named Aqua. Um, mm -hmm. I started working right after culinary school with Chef Michael Mina, mm -hmm. who's one of my mentors. But uh, just a chance conversation led you to an externship. Absolutely, yeah. Very, very lucky. You and must fortunate. have been convincing. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Uh, at least it gets you your start. You ended up being an ex executive chef by the age of 24. Oh. I did, I did. Um, it was a very, it was a nerve-wracking experience, but it worked out in the long run, I guess. Um, yeah, I couldn't I'd have been more fortunate. Yeah. What, what, what do you think, you look back on that time now and you look how you are now, what was the biggest thing you took from that time that you're using with you? Um, I think, if anything, it's given me a lot of guidance on how to... Um, how to lead my team now and how to um, uh, usher them and, and give them guidance in order how to, to lead their own teams and mm -hmm. give them, yeah. give them a, the empowerment to, to drive the bus themselves. Yeah. yeah. This new experience in downtown Los Angeles, I, I just, I'm from Los Angeles. Are you? And I remember when downtown was pretty much Skid Row. And I'd have to say, are there, did you have any apprehension about moving in to the heart of an old city? Uh, I did. I will say the first time I, I went to go check out the restaurant space, I was a little bit nervous driving up. But what I find very unique about the row um, is you, uh, you pull into the parking structure and walk out, and it's like a little oasis in the middle of the city. It's yeah. really surprising. Beautifully curated space, lots of amazing retail shops, and soon to be a ton of great restaurants as you, well. You get nervous every time you open a new restaurant. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't it. That wasn't good enough answer. Melissa, let me have you oh, sign the dish. You. And as you do, Chef, if you could have this meal with anyone past or present, mm -hmm. who would it be? Um, gosh, I'd have to say Michelle Obama. I think mm. it would be. Wow. 
an amazing experience Can to I get come? to meet her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'd like to stay for that one. Chef Melissa Perello, thank you thank very you much. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. And mm -hmm. for more on our chef and the dish, you can head to our website at cbsthismorning.com.